Welcome to sip9.com. This video tutuloy natin ating series on subtraction of integers, no? Uh, kung napanood nyo yung uh, last two videos, nakikita ninyo na uh, pwede pala tayong mag-transform ng subtraction into an addition problem, no? So, lahat pala ng subtraction sentence or subtraction expression, pwede natin siyang gawin. Uh, subtraction, or oh, sorry, addition uh, expression using these rules, no? yung rule number 1 sa rule number 2 natin, uh, pwede natin siyang i... For any values of A and B, pwede natin uh, i-transform to addition ang ating subtraction sentence. No? So, halimbawa, yung... For example, sa rule number 1, meron tayong how many cases? We have positive yung A and positive yung B. Tapos, positive yung A, negative yung B. And then, what else? Uh, negative yung A, positive yung B, tsaka negative yung A, positive yung, o oh, negative din yung B. Okay, so both negative. This is for rule number one. By the way, this is, hindi na ito tutorial, yung number, yung uh, video number three natin, yung SI3. This is a summary of what we have learned, no? And ipinapakita lang dito na pwede natin uh, gawing addition ng any any subtraction sentence. No? Basta dalawa yung ating, uh, wala tayong uh, complicated expressions. Basta of the form A minus B lang or A minus negative B. No? So anong example nitong parehong positive? Now remember, para hindi tayo malito, yung, yung minus dito gagawin ko siya na pula. No? Para kita natin. Okay, so, pag parehong positive, for example, uh, 5 minus 8. No? So, ang minus natin pula. Rule number 1, ha? sa rule number 1 tayo titingin. Tapos sa rule number 2, we have positive pa rin yung A natin. No? Like, for example, 10. Siguro parehong number na lang gamitin natin. No? We have 5. Pero, yung, yung ano natin, yung isa natin ay negative. So, agyan natin ng kulay green. Uh -huh. Negative 8. So, yung B natin ay negative, less than 0 siya. So, this is the negative. Para mas ma-ano ma natin siya, ma-distinguish natin siya doon sa uh, subtraction. This is the subtraction sign. This is an operation. And this is the negative sign. No? Yung sign ng ating integer. Next, we have uh, A is less than 0. So, for example, pwede siyang negative 5. B is uh, positive minus 8. Tapos, pareho silang Negative, so this is negative 5 minus negative 8. And again, kukulayan natin ng red yung minus and ang green yung mga ating, ating uh, sign. No? So again, I think it's obvious that all of this can be written as uh, yan. Pwede natin siya i-write as addition. So, magiging 5 plus 8 ito. Ito magiging uh, negative 5 minus 8. Ito magiging negative 5 plus 8. Okay. So, again, mag of course, magkakaiba yung signs. Magkakaiba yung sagot niyan. This one is negative 3. This one is 13. This one is negative 13. And this one is 3. Hindi ko na i-detalye kasi pinag-aralan na natin yung ano niya, no? Yung details niyan sa video 1 and 2. Videos 1 and 2. Okay? So, sa rule number 2, sa rule number 2, we also have um, four cases. No? Makikita nyo na sa rule number 2 ay uh, magiging pareho din siya yung iba dito. No? So, for example, magiging... Um, 
uh, let's choose a different uh, number. So, pagiging 12, 12 minus negative, minus negative. Ang bin natin ay positive. So, ang bin natin ay 6, for example. No? So, remember, bakit sabi nyo, bakit negative yung B dito? Paano mo sabi positive yung B? No, the, the, the B here, yung pinag-uusapan natin yung B dito is itong 6. Itong minus na kulay green is this, is this is the 1. This is the green. This is the sign. Pero here, yung 6 yung B natin, positive. And then yung ating sign ito. Ay yung ating uh, minus, the minus sign. Second is, positive tsaka negative yung B. So, magiging... Remember, ang B natin is 6. Ito ay negative dito. So, pag if A is greater than 0, uh, this becomes 12 minus... Tapos itong green dito. And then, yung, yung, yung 6 natin, ay yung B natin, negative. So, magiging negative, negative 6 yan. Negative of negative 6, yung B natin. So, this becomes, ito yung green natin. Ah. Okay, kita nyo. Yung green, yung green is this one. Ito positive, ito negative. So, magiging... This becomes 12 plus 6. Naging addition pa rin siya. Tapos ito magiging 12 minus. Negative of negative is positive. So 12 minus 6. Minus 6. Which is 12 plus negative 6. And then of course here we have uh, positive yung A. So still this is 12 minus negative oh sorry negative yung a negative 12 minus negative 6 same as here b is greater than 0 same dito so this is our minus sign this is our negative sign so this is negative 12 plus 6 plus 6 and lastly pagpareho sila negative we have negative yung 12. And then we have the minus negative. We have the minus negative. Tapos yung B natin is less than 0. This is a negative of 6. Which is equal to negative 12 minus... Uh, what else? Negative 12 minus positive 6 which is equal to negative 12 plus negative 6. Okay? So, ito magiging 18, ito magiging uh, 6, ito magiging negative 6, at ito magiging negative 18. Okay? Nakikita nyo yung connection ng dalawang yan? Okay, so, ibig sabihin, lahat ng possible uh, subtraction, pwede natin siyang gawing addition. And kung makikita nyo yung connection, this is 5 minus negative 8. May minus negative ba tayo dito? Ito yun, di ba? Yan. Magkapareho sila ng form. Yung 5 minus 8. No? Dito yan. No? This is another form. Yan. Ito. 12 minus 6. 5 minus, minus 8, pareho sila ng form. Tapos, negative 12 minus negative 6. Nakita niyo ba kung saan yung kapartner niya? So, ito, magkapareho siya ng form dito. No? And then, itong pangalawa, itong pangalawa, at saka, ito. So, dito simplified dyan kasi nag-double negative kay dito minus negative kay. Tapos kaya na minus negative. Pero yung pinaka-form niya, itong dalawang yan. At makikita nyo connected yung dalawang 
R rules na yan, no? So, I think the purpose of this video, no? Baka na-confuse kayo bakit ganyan. The purpose of this video is, no matter what the values of A and P, no? Uh, you can uh, convert any uh, subtraction problem to an addition problem, no? And of course, hindi na natin kinonsider yung zero kasi wala naman siyang effect, no? Although, pag nauna yung zero mo, zero minus negative eight, is equal to 0 plus 8 still, uh, papasok ka rin dito, 0 minus negative 8. Okay? So, uh, kayo na lang mag-explore if one of the, uh, one of A or B or both become 0. No? Okay, so that's it. We have, uh, gusto ko kayong invite si Plain Lab kung yung ating website. And of course, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel para Marami pa kayo natutunan. Marami salamat. See you in the next tutorial.